Uh, Corey, were you surprised you were as wide open as you were on the 75-yard touchdown? And also it looked like uh, you were determined to get in and not let that guy uh, get you down and kind of made a move on him there around the 10-yard line. Can you talk about that? Yeah, um, I wasn't too surprised because um, we, we, we got the look that we wanted and, you know, what we were anticipating the whole week. Um, Tanya put it in a great spot and the rest is up to me. Um, I was determined to get in. I mean, um, I don't know, just trying to get some points for the boys, and so we did. Glennon. Hey, Corey. Um, just from a, a personal standpoint, um, what's this season been like for you? I think that's, you know, fourth or five, fifth games over 100 yards. Uh, um, and, you know, being healthy the whole year, what, what's this season been like for you, maybe in, in a comparison to some of the earlier years? Um, <clears throat> definitely, um, I mean, one of my best seasons so far. Um, I, guess, I mean, I'm healthy. My mind's right, playing confident. Um, you know, the team is, is really rolling. We got some momentum. Um, so, we, you know, we just got to keep that up and keep doing our thing. And one quick follow uh, from a team perspective, I think this is the uh, you guys became the ninth team in NFL history uh, to go five straight games, 30 points and 400 yards. Clicking here. And this is a lot. That's um, <clears throat> it sounds like it's hard to accomplish and, <laughs> um, you know, art and, and, you know, the rest of the office staff do a great job of scheming plays and, you know, we have a lot of weapons and, you know, it's just our job to, to, you know, answer that call when, you know, they do call us to make a play. And, you know, that's what we've been doing so far. So we just got to keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, Corey, when, when you guys are producing the way that you are on that side of the ball, like, like Johnny said, it's, I mean, that's the fourth game that you're over 40, 40 points scored in a game so far. Uh, just just from your guys' perspective in the passing game, like how, how – much, how much pride do you take, and how much you're able to contribute through that way, and get like Tannehill's first five touchdown pass game of his career? Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, a lot of pride in, in, in what we do. Um, you know, Tannehill's a great, great quarterback, and he, you know, he definitely makes our job easy. Um, you know, he puts it in a great spot. He has great accuracy. Um, but we do take a lot of pride in our job and what we do. You know, no matter where the ball is, you know, we <clears throat> we put it upon ourselves to to go get it. You know, contest it or not, um, you know, the ball's in the air. It's our ball. You know, that's that's something that Rob and, you know, the guys preach all the time. Yeah, Corey, Coach, Coach Rob had, had talked about the importance of yards after the catch when we talked to him um, last week. Uh, for you and AJ, is that, is that something that you guys really – um, just, just kind of talk to each other about and push each other to do? Because you had, even though the ball traveled so many yards, you still had a good amount of yards after the catch on your touchdown. Yeah, I mean, that's that's another thing we, we kind of take pride in is, um, you know, when we get the op, you just, you know, make the most of it and, you know, try to make it happen with, with the ball in your hand. And, and first and foremost, you got to protect the ball. And um, so, I mean, we do take a lot of pride in that. Rob is always harping on that. Um, Yeah. Damn it. And, and Corey, did you know the ball was coming to you on the deep ball? And what's kind of your thought process as, as it lands in your hands and, and trying to figure a way to get in the end zone? Yeah, I knew it was coming to me. Um, like I said, I mean, we got the look that we had wanted all week. Um, it was just my job to, to sell it in there and, you know, set my angle. And, you know, like I said, Tanny put it in a great spot. And, um, just trying to find the end zone, and you know that's what I did. How much fun? You know, you talk a lot about the offense, but you, you've been around here for several years now. This is as potent as this offense has been. What's kind of the mindset of the group when you guys go out there on Sunday? And do you feel like if you can keep playing like this, you're going to be hard to beat? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> um, our mindset is, is you know take it one game at a time, you know one play at a time. We got weapons. You know, I always say that, and um, you know, we just got to trust the scheme, trust Art, and, and trust the plays, and um, you know, go out there and, and make it happen. And you know, that's what we do week in and week out. Couple more, Gentry. 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 Um, okay. Paul. 
Uh, the more on the uh, run after the catch, Corey. You you really turned Harmon twice there. How, how conscious are you? Or how conscious are you of where he is? How much is it about kind of what you see in front of you or what you feel? How would that all work? Yeah, I kind of felt, um, you know, where he was. Um, his momentum was kind of taking him. He had a good angle on me first and foremost, and you know I had to, you know, kind of stop and. You know, try to cut back, and you know, it's just something that you feel where he is. Um, you feel his momentum. You know, whether it's going one way or another, and you just go the other way, and <clears throat> that's what I did. And like I said, man, we we played pretty well today, and it's a good win for the boys. Try to enter again. Yeah, Corey, you you talked a lot about this season. Season, you know, kind of been being asked, you know, what's what's been different. I'm, I'm curious from your perspective. You've talked a lot in the past about putting pressure on yourself, that kind of thing. Curious how how much of this season has been different for you on that, and how much of it has also been supporting cast guys like AJ and Ryan in in terms of uh, the, the numbers you're putting up. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> obviously it helps a lot to have AJ over there on the other side. And, you know, most of the time he, he's attracting the attention and, um, you know, kind of frame me up and, and vice versa. And, you know, as well as Ryan, Ryan does a great job. You know, I always say it, uh, making sure, um, you know, we're on our toes and we know what we're doing and, you know, pin the ball in the right spot. Um, but mentally, um, I feel like I'm in a better place. Um, you know, I, <clears throat> sometimes it was too much pressure and, um, you know, it just end up being having a negative impact on my on my playing. So this year, I'm a lot more free. Um, I'm just going out there playing and having fun with it. Last question, Glennon. Yeah, Corey. I think could you maybe just expand on that uh, a little bit? You know, what what do you think you did in particular? Uh, and you've always said that that you put a lot of pressure on yourself. How did you kind of get out from underneath that a little bit this year? Do you think? Um. Honestly, just um, kind of got my priorities right, you know, focusing on God and, and changing my relationship with him was a big part of it. And like I said, just not just not putting, you know, too much pressure on yourself to, to go out there and perform because that could be have a negative impact on you and, and your mental and, and your play. So um, just going out there playing free and, and playing fast. It's kind of something that you have to do in this game. You just got to rely for instinct sometimes and, and kind of take the thinking out of it. And, you know, that's kind of what I've been trying to do this year. And it's been working. So, um, you know, we just got to keep it up and keep having fun with it.